Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And uh, here is the third story uh, for today. And this one will be, this is going to be interesting. Let's just say uh, the woke gets, the woke won't ever learn, I don't think. People are always asking me, why am I so angry? The reason is because the country that I love is destroying itself from within. That's why I am. The angry conservative. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, for the third story, this is out of Minneapolis. And uh, we'll just, I'll just let you guys know. Minneapolis School Teachers Association reaches a tentative agreement with district after 14 day strike. The agreement includes higher wages, more mental health support, and examinations for teachers of color for seniority-based layoffs. All right, let's get into this. Minneapolis Public Schools and the Public Union and the union representing teachers and support staff reached a tentative agreement around 4 a.m. on Friday, clearing the way for students to return to class as soon as Monday. Union leaders championed the agreement on Friday, saying it includes significant raises for education and support professionals, as well as additional material, mental health support for students, caps on class sizes, and layoff protections for teachers of color. That's interesting. The collective action of our members has shown that stri- that strikes work. Strikes work, said Sean Loudon, Layden, president of the Education Support Professionals Bargaining Unit of the Minneapolis pa- Federation of Teachers. The strike was the first by Minneapolis teachers since 1970 and kept more than 30,000 students out of school for 14 days as the two sides struggled to resolve a 75 million gulf between their proposals even as the district stares down a 21 and a half million budget 
shortfall next year. Yeah, that's surprising, but it has been a very challenging, but at the end of the day, we are able, we are all able to come together and tellingly agree upon what I believe is a fair contract, said Superintendent Ed Graff. During Friday mor- during a Friday morning news p- conference, teachers and support staff will work on the attendant agreement over the weekend. The union and the district will must still negotiate a return to work agreement, but aim to resume classes on Monday. Wage increases. A key determination of the union was to bring the starting salaries of education support professionals to 35 annually they didn't reach that but start but starting wages will rise from 1983 an hour to 2391 by the second year of the contract the union has temporary temporary agreements for additional hours and days for education support professionals who often work part time the district roughly 1,250 education support professionals will receive one-time $6,000 bonuses split over the two years of the contract with an additional 1,000 1,000 payments to support staff with at least 10 years of experience. The district's roughly 3,200 teachers will see a modest increase, although the union boasts they are the largest in 20 years, 2% increase the first year and 3% the second year of the contract. Teachers will receive 4,000 one-time bonuses and bilingual candidates and teachers will receive an additional 500 recruitment or retention bonuses. Layoff protection for teachers of color. The contracts for teachers also include rare protections from layoffs for teachers from underrepresented populations as such as Black, Native American, Latino, and LGBT teachers. In the event of layoffs, these teachers would be spared, and the next least senior teachers would be let go. Layoff protection for these teachers of color was pushed by an outside group called Advancing Equity Coalition, just 18% of Minneapolis teachers are people of color compared to si- with 62% of students. Many s- teachers of color at the district have less seniority, making them more v- vulnerable to layoffs. Advocates of the pro- protections say they are necessary to address the city's yawning achievement gap between white students and black, n- Latino, and Native Amer- and Native students. The teachers' union, including people of color in its ranks, say the issue is a sideshow that seeks to weaken the union and its bargaining power. Members of the teachers' union say far more teachers of color have quit over low pay and poor working conditions than have been laid off in recent years. But union leaders did tout the language in the agreement as a win for the community. Yeah, that's a big win. It's going to be a nation-leading model, loud and said. The tenant of Greenland also grants seniority and placement protections to educational support professionals who are mostly people of color in contrast to the city's teaching staff. We're talking about hundreds of educators of color who now have the same job protections and seniority rights and placement rights as their colleagues Loudon said. Mental health support, a major major demand of the teachers union was more mental health resources for students. Under the tenant agreement, every building in the district will have at least one social worker, the number of full-time mental health support teams, which includes a nurse, a counselor, Psychologists and social workers will will double at the elementary schools. The agreement will also increase the number of psychologists to one for every 850 students. That is better than the ratio of one for every 1,000, but still fewer than the national recommendation of one psychologist for every 500 students. 
The agreement includes $1,000 bonuses for school nurses and $1,000 recruitment bonus for new nurses. So, what do you think? Are they just trying to do this because they are scared? Let me know down in the comments down below, and thank you for coming and checking this out. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the road